Well, my next guest has been on my show more than anybody, more than anybody in the streetwide street scene history. When this is our 14th season here at Can TV, uh, let me say who he is. My next guest was born and raised in Chicago. Uh, he watched Jackie Robinson play. He's a lifelong Cubs fan. He's a streetwise vendor and a Chicago Cubs icon. I want to welcome back, 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 back to the show, my buddy, Ronnie Woo Woo Wickers. What's up, Ronnie? Streetwise. 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 How you doing, buddy? How are you, Ronnie? Great, great. And you know, I always like to say, I love me some Ronnie Woo Woo. Great preacher loves some Ronnie Woo Woo, but I do not like the Cubs, but I love me some Ronnie Woo Woo. Somebody said, well, you know, man. That don't really make sense. Yes, it does, because it's about the humanity. It's about the dedication. It's about the commitment. Look at this brother. I first met Ronnie, uh, man, about 20 years ago, walking in Chicago. First guy I ever met, walking through the whole city with full Cubs from head to toe, to Cubs gear. I stopped being a Cub fan since they left, you know, let Bill Mantle go. How you doing, Ronnie? Wonderful. How you been, buddy? How's it been? Blessed and feel highly Good. favored, man. Well... I got to admit it. You know, normally we have you on the show at the beginning of the season, right there at opening day. We ain't do that this year, but we had to get you on the show, and it just so happened to be the week that you all beat my White Sox. Well, you know, baseball is a good game, but uh, some curls are playing good ball, buddy. Yeah, you was at the game today, right? The Cubs won 72. Who were they playing? Arizona. 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 Who was they playing? Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> and they beat Arizona. Arizona got a pretty good team. Uh, what do you think about the young players with the Cubs right now? Well, we got some young kids coming up, you know. Everybody, like Leo DeRosa said, you have to uh, play the kids, you know. They may go 0 for 4, but keep them in that lineup and keep them going, you know. Get a start before you finish. So you think you guys got some good young prospects this year? We got young prospects coming up, you know. It just take time, you know. The old Austin and guys are doing pretty good job. Bring them up slowly but surely, but put them out there, put them get between them vines and... That green grass, that blue sky, Regan Field, everything will come alive. Love baseball, don't oh, you, man? baseball is great. I love baseball, too, man. Big shout-out to my men of Monarchs out there, uh, Class 85, my baseball team. Uh, I love baseball, too, man. Uh, being outside in Wrigley Field, man, nice environment. You know, Wrigley Field, to me, is just like a big old pub. That's what it is. A lot of people partying, and if the Cubs are winning or losing, they still going to come. It's been a lot of politics going on lately, and and how do you feel about the the Ricketts and you know and, and their commitment to to the Cubs? Well, Greg, it's it's all like a baseball game. You guys all put it together. Tom Ricketts and his crew trying to get it all together, you know. But our main thing I'm concerned with is get some young ball players, put them on the field, let them play ball. Let them play ball, huh? Let them play ball. You know, we supported you, man, when you was going through your you know trials and a little bit of tribulation with the other owners. And I remember that um, Streetwise definitely supported you. Um, let's, let's talk about your relations with, you know, the Ricketts family who owns the team now compared to the previous owners. Well, the, the past is past. This is now. Right now, I'm going to uh, try to talk to the Ricketts. Maybe I could uh, do something with the club. Uh, I mean, I've been telling for the last 70 years, you know, what I, what I can do. Mm -hmm. I gave the old regime some pointers about bringing the fans to the ball park right now. Right now, we need ball players. We need ball players. And uh, Theo and his group, they're trying to put it all together like peanut butter, but got to put a little more jelly there to get it all together. You know, Theo gives you a lot of love. I remember last year when he first came into town in the first press conference, there was you and the Sun-Times with, with Theo. Um, Epstein's the last name? What's the last name? Theo, he, he brought his group from Boston. They're okay. trying to plant something together, you know. But it's put a little more jelly on that, and I'm quite sure it'll be fine. Okay, well, they need a lot of jelly, but they're they doing pretty good right now. Uh, the neighborhood, you know, Wrigley, it's called Wrigleyville, but it's really Lake View. And Wrigley Field is just, you know, it's all part of the community. So it's like Wrigley Field's there, they got a whole other name for it. They threaten to pick up and move. You well, think you that know, could ever happen? Well, you know, the deal is, Wrigley had a club. Anybody wanted to buy the club, the first thing, before saying anything, Keep the Cubs in Chicago. That's right. That was just a, a threat, but it wasn't, wasn't going to happen with it. The Cubs are going to be here like I'm here. I'm part of Chicago, and the Cubs are part of Chicago. So they're not going nowhere. We're going to get some young teams, and next this year, next year, World Series. Yeah, you go again with that World Series thing. You, know, man. you and the Cubs are World Series. You have to just, you know, believe. 
It's man over matter. If those man, it really doesn't matter. Okay, well, we're going to see. Maybe we can get that Crosstown World Series. You know, you guys got the cup today, the Crosstown, oh, yeah, the Crosstown so. Classic Cup. But then maybe we can see the World Series in Chicago or the World Series of Cubs against the White Sox. That would be a good series, wouldn't it? It would be wonderful. You know, the classic me, CBS me, Cub beat Sox. <laughs> That's what it means. You had to get that in there, didn't you? Hey, Jumbotrons, could you imagine the Jumbotron and, 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 and Wrigley Field out in the outfield? Well, you know, it's... You got to go with the times, you know, in the 30s, the 40s, 50s, the 60s, everything changed, you know. Okay. So the the Ricketts, Arcsay, trying to go with the time, you know. You can put a teddy bear in the outfield, but you got to have some ball players hit the ball. There you go. That's the better. A teddy bear can look, look, drop the time, can look, look, but you have to have ball players. Somebody run, catch, pitch, and throw like baseball, and then we can play ball. There you go, Ronnie. There you, Ronnie, we was uh before the studio, Ronnie made a prediction and you know he's got this what we call the for show thing, right? For the Hall of Fame. The for show thing for the Hall of Fame class of 2014. Now, what's the for sure thing for the Hall of Fame? You're a Sox fan. That's right. You got your boy Frank Thompson. There it is. Going into the Hall of Fame next year. And that's your prediction. My prediction. And I got my pitcher, Greg Mallet, who started with the club, went out. To the Braves, they had a good career, but once the Cubs, always the Cubs, they both guys going to the Hall of Fame, and it would be all oh, Chicago. Wouldn't that be great? So you heard it here first, Chicago. Ronnie Rule predicts a for sure thing in the Hall of Fame. My man Frank Thomas and his brother Greg Maddox is going to be in the Hall of Fame that class of 2014. So if I'm correct, right, it has to be five years. At the time they retire, right. for them to be eligible okay. to be in the Hall of Fame. So that'll be five years. It'll be five years. Uh, quite sure. Frank Thompson get there and Gray Miles get there. And it'd be wonderful for Chicago. Yeah, that year. would. That'd be a real good thing, man. I'd like to see that, man. And Greg Maddox, man. He he lasted a long time. How many years was he in the, in the major leagues? He played about 18 years. 18 sure. years, man. That's that's a real accomplishment, man. 18 years in the major leagues. Probably could have went two more two more years. But, hey, I, I, good luck to them, too. I'd like to see it. I know Chicago would love to see it. Once again, Frank Thomas. Great, man. It'd be all for Chicago, buddy. Hall of Fame. It'd be great. Hall of Fame. 2014. Hall of Fame. Woo! Hall of Fame. Woo! Me and you and your buddy, Ronnie Woo. Ronnie Woo. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, got a shot at the playoffs. Now, what does it take to have a shot at the playoffs? You know what? We got 30 teams. Any major league team, we got five playoff spots. Okay. Any major league team can make the playoff. So, the car right now, the car exactly... 12 game out the playoff spot, the fifth spot. Okay. So they got a good shot. We got 87 games to play. I mean, 121 games to play, something like that. So we got a lot of time. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Now, Chicago, this is a legendary Cub icon fan, Ronnie Woo Woo Wickers, a legendary in the Chicago land area. Hey, the kids love Ronnie Wu, though. Ronnie walk around with his uniform, kids asking him for his autograph. Uh, you know, I was thinking, man, they, we should have some kind of petition or some kind of rally to make you the official Cubs mascot. What do you think about that, man? Well, like uh, my late friend Buck O'Neill told me, you know, when you go through life, it don't cost nothing to be nice, you know. So I just spread the love all over Chicago, Cubs, Sox, for Chicago. Chicago is my town. And a cover ought to be a place in my heart. We got some pictures of Ronnie right here that we had took for the Streetwise magazine. Ronnie was showcased in the cover of Streetwise. And these some pictures that we had of him. Legendary Ronnie Wu right out there in front of the Cubs symbol. All right. We got another picture here. Uh, Ronnie right there. Now, let's talk about that uh, the statue. What, what statue is that? Ernie Banks. Your boy, Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks, yeah. So I'm sure you met Ernie Banks. What's it like? What's it like being around Ernie Banks? What is uh, he like, man? He's a cheerful guy, great guy. He loved the game. The Lake Buccaneer gave him an opportunity to play ball. So and uh, Banks is just Mr. Cup, you know. Mm -hmm. He did a lot for the game. Brought a lot of people back. Take time, sign an autograph, and enjoy baseball. You know, people come to Chicago, and you see Ernie, and maybe you see Ronnie Woo Woo. You know, so. It's still like peanut butter and jelly, you know. We try to get together, bring love over Chicago. There you go. Now you mentioned the late great Buck O'Neill. 
Uh, I think that all our young brothers and sisters should know the history. And let's, let's talk about Buck O'Neill and what he means to the football, I mean baseball, and, you know, African Americans that are playing today. Well, Buck gave so much love for the game and for the love of the game and for the, uh, the Negro League baseball player. Right. He opened this museum so people could come and see how it really got started. And let them know what that museum is, though. The museum is 13 and Vine in Kansas City, and it shows you how baseball really got started. The first night game came from the Negro League, from baseball, and it, it got so much there through the museum. And I think all three major league teams should go down to Kansas City and see that museum because it's so much you can learn from it. Mm -hmm. You think you know baseball, you don't know nothing until you go to that New York Museum. A lot of things got started there, and we got to keep the game alive and keep the sport alive for what the Negro League have really done for the Major League Baseball team. And I want everybody, all the owners, to get together and let the old Major League team go down to Kansas City and see the Negro League Baseball League. It's a wonderful thing to see. Mm -hmm. and you, like I said, you haven't seen nothing until you go in there and learn about the Negro League. And the late Buck O'Neill, God bless him, number one. Hey, you and you and Buck was really close, man. He really loved him, some Ronnie Woo, just like I do. Uh, you go down there every year for a special occasion. Yeah, well, I go down for his birthday. I think it would have been 90, 100 this year, you know. Wow. And he did a lot for the, he passed when he was 95. And he's, like he said, he signed Joe Carter, Ernie Banks. Mm -hmm. Billy Williams got upset because of the, uh, the race of detention. He had to go to Billy Williams' house and get Billy Williams to bring him back to the game so he can handle what's going on at that time in baseball. But then uh, he got through it, and Billy Will ended up being a Hall of Famer, you know. So it's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's like right. this year, the Cubs, it's not how we start, it's how we finish. And how you think you guys going to finish this year, man? This year, next year, World Series, you know? Okay, well, this year, next year, World Series. There you go again, Ronnie, World Series. You know you guys talking about next year. I got some footage. Now, YouTube... It's a big thing now. Social media is a big thing. And, you know, George Orwell wrote a book, 1984. We talked about Big Brother. Big Brother's always watching. Well, to me, Big Brother's a video camera. So now with all these Android phones and everybody walking around with cameras, you're liable to see anybody on YouTube. I'm telling you, look up Ronnie Woo Woo on YouTube. You're going to see a lot of classic shots of Ronnie doing his chants. And I got something right here I want to show you, Chicago. This is Ronnie right here. Okay. Celebrating Black Hawks and his Cubs. Go on, get down, Ronnie. Oh, not to the knee, Ronnie. Not to the knee. Oh, uh, Ronnie. Non-stop. Ronnie Woo Woo, Chicago, classic Ronnie Woo Woo. Boy, I love me some Ronnie Woo Woo. Can't stand the cuz, but I love me some Ronnie Woo Woo. Hey, man, I'm very glad to have you on the show, man. Always honored to have you here. You know, Chicago, Ronnie Woo was a streetwise vendor. A lot of people didn't know that. We want you to check out uh, Woo Life. You can look it up on the internet. It's a documented Ronnie Woo with a legendary Ronnie Woo Woo's life. It's called Woo Life. Also, check out on YouTube uh, the Fox episode. And they call it Fox Has Fun with Ronnie Woo. We're going to love that. He's giving a, the Milwaukee Brewer fans, he's giving them heck out there in the audience cheering for the Cubs. And all of them looking at him wanting to be quiet. And you can always keep going and keep chanting for me. All Let right. me get a streetwise chant, man, for streetwise. me. Streetwise. 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 Number one. Number one. Streetwise. Me and you. And your buddy, Ronnie Wu. Hey, thank you, Ronnie. Hey, till next week, Chicago.
Stay focused. Keep it real. And go Blackhawks. Stay streetwise. Peace out, Chicago.